being healthy is what every human being wants. Many countries have been trying to develop their public health systems to make their people healthy according to the conditions and needs of such countries. For Thailand, the development of public health, including health care systems, had been undertaken continuously for a long time until it reached the important turning point that was the launch of the Universal Coverage of Health Care, or UC Scheme. The purpose of the UC Scheme is to ensure that all the Thai people will have access to essential health services with good quality in the thorough and equitable manner. In addition, the UC Scheme has been found to be able to decrease the health spending of the households and the people so that they will not be impoverished due to catastrophic medical expenses when ill, according to the intent of the National Health Security Health Act of 2002. This is Lam Son Thit Hospital, the community hospital of Lam Son Thit District in Loburi Province. The hospital covers a population of approximately 25,000. Its goal is the people's good health. Due to budgetary and geographical constraints, some patients with chronic diseases and some elderly, disabled and underprivileged persons were unable to access medical services at the hospital. Thus, an integrated approach for problem solving, so called Lam Son Thi District Healthcare Network, was designed, focusing on accessibility to healthcare and proactive health services. Today is one of the days that a multidisciplinary team comprising a physician, a nurse, a pharmacist, a physical therapist and a psychologist from the district hospital comes out to the community to provide outreach services. Today's first target is Nong Pi, a preschool child with myasthenia gravis or grave muscle weakness, whose treatment is rather costly. Fortunately, with the eligibility for medical treatment under the Universal Coverage Healthcare or UC scheme, Nong Pi has been treated until his condition has much improved and the rehabilitation team has been coming to provide follow-up care on a continual basis, especially physical and mental rehabilitation. Nong Pi's mother said that she is very delighted with her child's better condition, like having been dead and reborn, being glad to have met such good doctors. Dr. Santi, the Lam Son Thi Hospital Director said, the patient has to get to the medicines that are available only at a medical school. So, the patient had to be referred for treatment by a specialized physician at Ramatipudi Hospital, where good medical care was given by medical specialists. A lot of money has been spent on medical care, including medicines. Initially, there were worries about who would pay for the medical bills. Fortunately, the High Cost Medical Care Fund under the UC scheme takes care of all such expenses. The next target is the patient with paresis paralysis due to cerebrovascular hemorrhage caused by an accident. After hospitalization for treatment, the patient has been discharged for further home care. As the patient is poor and unable to help himself, under the UC scheme, a medical team from the district hospital and the healthcare team from the Thabmon Health Promotion Hospital has joined as a multidisciplinary home care team to provide all kinds of care and support, ranging from modifying the living place, providing essential equipment, and periodically rendering medical care until today. Uncle Long, a patient's husband, said that when his wife was suddenly ill, he did not know what to do. 
life was terrible during the time when there was no medical team to help us. Now, under the gold card or UC scheme, things are much better than before. I am very glad to have such assistance. The various activities initiated by Lam Son Thi Hospital are based on the collaborative efforts of the community and several relevant sectors, including the hospital and the Tambon Administrative Organization. All concerned take part in the management of healthcare and quality of life development. Such activities have been carried out with partial funding from the National Health Security Office, NHSO, especially for the administrative expenses which have made the delivery of uncovered services available for the underprivileged. For Thailand, the people's rights to health care are available through three health insurance schemes. The Civil Servant Medical Benefit Scheme, CSMBS, the Social Security Scheme, SSS, and the Universal Coverage of Healthcare, or UC Scheme, under which most of the Thai people are covered. <laughs> Dr. Winai, Secretary General, National Health Security Office. The role of the National Health Security Office, NHSO, is to manage the National Health Security Fund, or the Universal Coverage of Healthcare, or UC Scheme, which covers 48 million Thai people while the country has a population of 65 million. Its duty is to ensure that Thais receive good quality healthcare. Under the administrative structure of NHSO, there are 13 branches or regional offices. At Lam Son Thi Hospital, the UC system is under the supervision of the National Health Security Office, Salaburi Branch, Region 4, whose overall mission is to ensure that all the people in the region are healthy according to the central office's policy. Its major strategy for this effort is to strengthen the primary care system as well as the network of healthcare units in both rural and urban areas to effectively link with the referral system up to the tertiary care system. However, the policy is open to give some administrative autonomy in supporting the service units in the region to initiate new service or management models. And one of such major missions of the National Health Security Office is to support the participation of local agencies and the popular sector. <laughs> Dr. Chalal of NHSO Region 4 expressed that another duty of our office is to contact the service unit that creates an innovation, especially the hospital director with high potential or the district health officer who can cooperate with local agencies, having a good network of sub-district health promotion hospitals. Such a locality can form a network with NHSO's direct and indirect financial support. Lam Son Thi Hospital is a good example as it has an enthusiastic and diligent director who can coordinate with the district health officer and good teamwork. So, when we have a new project for supporting innovative activities, Lam Son Thi Hospital was given some funding support for framework and personnel development. Everyone has been working effectively and the work is successful. The work at Lam Son Thi Hospital has not confined only to providing medical treatment for the patients within the hospital, but is also extended to disabled persons in the communities, another target group that has never been neglected. Today, the healthcare team or care team from the hospital comes to visit Uncle Yong Khun Khon Thot, 
a visually impaired person who has been assisted to practice to use the white walking stick in an effort to help such a person to live a better life. This effort is financed by the Visually Impaired Persons Rehabilitation Fund of the National Health Security Office. The Lam Sun Ti Hospital Director said, with the financial support for our work, we can go out to provide rehabilitative services for disabled persons. We could get some more budget in addition to the regular UC capitation budget. This additional budget is important for nurturing our various working processes. Dr. Chala also said, this project is actually directed by the central office. When the Lam Sun Ti hospital director saw such a channel for developing his work, he was supported. It is the first community hospital to have taken this kind of initiative. Normally, this kind of work is undertaken only by provincial hospitals. They can work very well and can help visually impaired persons. And there is another activity, cataract surgery, that the National Health Security Office can still provide financial support as such an activity is beneficial for society. Besides, at present, the care team comprising a doctor, a nurse, a physical occupational therapist, a pharmacist, and a community psychologist regularly makes home visits to the patients in their designated communities together with other officials from local agencies. The proactive, collaborative approach has made the program fully efficient. The child and youth group is another target group that the hospital has paid attention to, especially the children with learning disability as they are unable to catch up with other students in class. Every evening, the psychologist will come to help enhance such children's perception skills. <laughs> Director, Lam Sun Ti Hospital. The role of the National Health Security Office for this region is very supportive of our work. Whenever they have an interesting project, they will let us know and give us an opportunity to submit a good proposal. All of the above stories are only parts of the application of the National Health Security Fund for the benefit of the local community in an integrated manner. It is also a way to learn how the National Health Security Office can work with various levels of health facilities, which is regarded as a way of decentralization from the central administration to the local level.